I've just had a crack at the once human closed beta and I honestly don't know how hard this was to get into. Maybe there's millions of videos out there like this one. But I wanted to give you a bit of an idea about this upcoming survival game and show off a bit of what I played through. If you want the short version, man is this a random game but quickly turns awesome. On Beggles, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. So the start of this closed beta is fractured, throwing you into a sci-fi style situation with alerts, alien, a bird thing, we later find out it's called V and has a big role to play in this game, and jumps around really quickly, giving you a bit of a glimpse of the storyline with a fair amount of dialogue and voice acting before throwing you straight into something completely different. I will note here that my early gameplay had an audio bug and I thought it was just really poorly polished audio. But turns out restarting the game meant I did get the simple stuff like animation, sound effects and monster noises. So if that happens to you, just restart and it should be all good. You capture this little deviant thing for the bird, which sends you to a completely different realm where you meet this girl, which was giving me some kind of horror, creepy anime vibes. But I'm not sure if that's meant to be happening. She tells you about the deviants, uh, what happened to the humans, and you find out that you're a meta-human kind of able to jump between the real world and spirit world and it's pretty complicated and I think this will take me quite a fair amount of time playing through the game before I work it out. Everything is moving along slowly, you get to go and bang some rocks and trees together and then all of a sudden it's time to fight this 20 foot tall siren that looks very ominous, kind of like a big bad last boss but it's pretty weak, kind of like a small kitten. As someone who hasn't really kept up to date with one's human trailers and news and anything like that, this fight was awesome and the size of the enemies is insane. It's worth noting that you kind of get teleported into little arenas for these boss fights and then back to the world once you are finished. I guess that allows the multiplayer elements to work smoothly. So I kind of thought that I might have had the feeling for the game. Survival crafting set in a Stranger Things style underworld universe. But then the game throws you head straight back into this Fortnite battle bus style evacuation situation and it was time to get into the nuts and bolts of what this game will look like. I'm thinking we head back to the spooky spirit world at some point and meet that girl again, but I haven't got that far yet. Once Human plays like your classic crafting game in terms of the basic building, I played a few recently, Pal World and Enshrouded being the main ones, and if you've got a bit of a workbench crafting fatigue, then look away. I think I had to craft about 5 different benches in the first 10 minutes, hitting the open world. Still, one of the things I like about this game so far is that it ramps up quickly. And even though the menu and unlocking system is way too complicated for my liking, I was crafting a weapon very quickly, going for a run and the storyline progresses. You search through some ruins to find scrap, feels very much like rust, and there's these enemies littered around, but at this point I haven't had too much problem in terms of dealing with them. The developers have also wanted to create a game that clearly feels big, but you don't have to spend too much travel time with the ability to teleport back to your base or other spots early, and even being randomly given this motorbike, which looks cool but definitely doesn't control all that well at all, which helps you to make your way to the area for the main quest. Once Human did feel a bit clunky to me, and I'm sure they will refine a lot before release date, but it's definitely a game that sent me from confused to surprised, quickly into a space where, even though I don't think I would be all that worried about the storyline, or the characters, which seem pretty stereotypical to me. The fighting in the game seems really fun, and if I can build some cool bases and fight some crazy big bosses, say like Valheim but in a very different environment, then I can definitely get behind that. Hey, let me know if you've had a crack at the once human closed beta, and if it felt as disjointed but still awesome for you to play through.